Baby Blueberry Muffin woke up with a smile. She knew it was a special day. As she opened her window, the air in her room filled with a sweet smell. Baby Blueberry Muffin looked out at her blueberry patch. Her blueberries were ripe, and it was time to pick them. How lovely, she said softly. Each bush was filled with plump blueberries. The berries seemed to shine as she watched them. She couldn't wait to go outside and see them up close. It's summer, my favorite time of year, she said to Cheesecake, her little pet mouse. Cheesecake sniffed the sweet air and squeaked happily. Baby Blueberry Muffin and Cheesecake strolled down the rows of bushes. Baby Blueberry held out her arms. She felt like hugging each bush. Instead, she hugged Cheesecake. She picked a few blueberries and put them in her hat. Then she tied a few on a ribbon around Cheesecake's neck. The blueberries are so lovely. I'd like to share them with my friends, she said to Cheesecake. Baby Blueberry Muffin loved the other Strawberry Land kids, but she was such a dreamer and she was very shy. Could she ask them to the blueberry patch? Yes, I will do it, she said. I must not be shy. After all, they are my friends. Cheesecake pushed Baby Blueberry Muffin gently. Yes, yes, Cheesecake, you are right. I will ask them right now, she said. Baby Blueberry Muffin took a deep breath. Then she and Cheesecake took the path to Baby Strawberry Shortcake's house. Baby Strawberry Shortcake was in her garden with Custard, her kitten. She waved to Baby Blueberry Muffin and to Cheesecake. Hi, Blueberry! What a pretty day, said Baby Strawberry Shortcake. Yes, Strawberry, it is a great day, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. That's why I came to see you. Cheesecake nodded. She thought so, too. Baby Blueberry Muffin said very softly, I would like you to come and help me pick a two, sneezed Custard. That is... The blueberries are a two, sneezed Custard again. Baby Blueberry Muffin blushed brightly. I mean, will you come down and see? Custard noticed the fresh blueberries hanging around Cheesecake's neck. She smelled them closely. They tickled Custard's nose. A two, sneezed Custard as she brushed against the blueberries. Bless you, Custard! said Baby Strawberry Shortcake. Custard sneezed again. Baby Blueberry's head sank. She stepped back. We better go, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. I hope Custard feels better. Custard kept sneezing. Baby Strawberry Shortcake put her arm around Custard. Cheesecake squeaked and pointed to the blueberry patch with her nose. Baby Strawberry Shortcake peeked over the fence. She saw the blueberry bushes. The ripe blueberries were glowing in the sun. She turned to Baby Blueberry Muffin and Cheesecake. Were you asking us to help pick your blueberries? She asked. But they were gone. Baby Strawberry Shortcake looked over to the blueberry patches again. She knew Baby Blueberry Muffin very well. Baby Strawberry smiled. Baby Blueberry Muffin saw Baby Raspberry Tart. Baby Raspberry was looking up into a tree. She seemed to be talking to it. Hi, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. Are you talking to the tree? Then she blushed as she saw rhubarb on a low branch. I'm fixing this pocket watch that rhubarb found, said Baby Raspberry Tart. It stopped. You are so clever, Raspberry, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. She felt shy, but she stood up bravely. My blueberries are ripe, Raspberry, started Baby Blueberry Muffin. Will you come? Rhubarb began to chatter. I'm inviting all the kids, began Baby Blueberry Muffin. Rhubarb chattered louder. And their pets, added Baby Blueberry. She did want the monkey to come, too. I mean, everyone is invited to pick the bipe rarities, she said. I mean to rick the pipe berries, she said. She wanted to hide. 
Instead, she said, Maybe another time. Bye. Rhubarb chattered as they walked away. Bye, blueberry and cheesecake, said Baby Raspberry Tart. She looked back at Rhubarb's pocket watch. Baby Blueberry Muffin and Cheesecake walked on through the woods. I know. I will change. I really will invite the next friend I meet, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. Suddenly, they looked down. On the path were huge muddy footprints that could only belong to Fig Boot. In fact, Fig Boot was hiding behind a tree playing with a butterfly. Only his head and tail stuck out. Hi, Fig Boot, said Baby Blueberry Muffin. Fig Boot came out from behind the tree and smiled at Baby Blueberry and Cheesecake. The butterfly flew high into the trees. My blueberries are ripe, Baby Blueberry Muffin began. The bushes are loaded with big fat berries. She stretched her arms way open to show how big the bushes were. Splat! She slipped in a muddy footprint and fell. Mud splashed all over her. Even her hat was speckled with it. Baby Blueberry Muffin stood up slowly. She wiped her skirt. Her cheeks were pink even under the mud. She couldn't even try to talk. She walked home sadly with Cheesecake. Why am I so shy? She asked Cheesecake. Why can't I be more like Strawberry Shortcake or Raspberry Tart? She took a bath to wash off the mud. Then she put on a clean dress. Suddenly she heard voices in the blueberry patch. Now who is that? She asked Cheesecake. They walked out together. All the kids were there. They were looking at her blueberries. They were smelling the wonderful sweet air. Each friend held a treat for Baby Blueberry Muffin. Baby Raspberry Tart carried a jar of thick raspberry jam and some sweet bread. Baby Strawberry had her best strawberry shortcake. How did you know? Baby Blueberry Muffin asked Baby Strawberry Shortcake. I was too shy to invite anyone. I tried to, but I couldn't. We heard you trying and we understood, said Baby Strawberry. We love you just as you are. Isn't it good that we are all different? Please don't change, Baby Blueberry Muffin. Baby Blueberry Muffin felt her cheeks turn pink, but she smiled anyway. You all must come down here again this fall, she said. Then the berries will all have been picked, but I'll have baked blueberry pies and blueberry muffins and lots of other blueberry goodies. Baby Blueberry Muffin had done it. She had invited her friends to a party. Cheesecake had a big smile on her face. She was very proud of Baby Blueberry Muffin. <laughs>